Held in Golden, Colorado, the 3D Collaboration and Interoperability Congress provides a unique opportunity to learn the real state and direction of this critical part of CAD technology. It provides key information that leaders need to set expectations and priorities and to develop a realistic roadmap to the future. Think about uh, in, in the supply chain when, uh, say, Cisco hands off data to one of their suppliers. The mechanical engineer creates information at their desk, at their computer. Most likely they're creating it in a model. When we have to pass that off uh, to the next step, we want to make sure we translate it accurately with a sense of trust. So this is the age of big data. And so what this means is um, right now, gold is no longer the world's most valuable resource. Um, oil is no longer the world's most valuable resource, it's data. What we're trying to do is leverage a, uh, a technology that's been around for a very long time, a CAD system, a 3D CAD system. And manufacturing is trying to take better advantage of that to use that 3D model in order to drive all of the manufacturing processes downstream and enable automation and better efficiencies of their process. One of the challenges today is how to bring all that data into the same ecosystem and harvest that data and really unleash the power of that data. We provide traffic control equipment, lighting equipment, um, power equipment all over the world. And everywhere you go has a different system that we have to integrate with. It's very difficult. Imagine if you were going somewhere and you were going to meet 100 people and they all spoke a different language. That's the problem we have to contend with every day with our equipment because that equipment needs to talk to the system where it's gonna be used. Once you can translate data um, and hold yourself to a high quality for that to be maintained throughout the life cycle, um, that amount of reuse of the data becomes um, an enabler for a lot of different processes and opportunities. And from that point, if you can really validate all of those derivatives, you're in a, in a great situation to be able to reuse the data going forward for all those uh, downstream or even upstream um, applications. It's really about trust. So now with the tools we have, we can automate processes, orchestrate the transformation of data from multiple different formats using different APIs to basically bring those data, digital data from multiple sources together to enable that reuse downstream. And so you want to have standards-based formatted uh, structure so you can ensure that interoperability and the trust of that data downstream. Now the shifting the culture of a business is the hardest part of the digital transformation. There is a natural resistance to change. It really requires a bottom-up cultural change. Um, starting with um, the engineers that are actually carrying out the work. There's been a lot of progress in terms of 3D translation, validation, sharing data, um, moving data between the departments. Um, but I think what really needs to happen next is the feedback loop from manufacturing, quality inspection, and iterating that back to the design, back to the originator, so that those changes can be made, they can be traceable, reused as well. We've actually supported the Congress for, for several years, and we find it's one of the few places where you have industry, you have academia, and you have the government coming together to share their stories on what it means to move to a model-based enterprise. Uh, we love it because you can have the very strategic conversations around you know workforce development and corporate strategy and how do you organize your your company to, to support this and you can also have the very tactical discussions you know what is the terms in, that you use within your business what uh, type of data architecture what tools are you using how are you using them and it's one of the few places that allows you to do that. I often say, you know, you could spend hours and hours Googling this kind of information and still not come close to what you get here in a week. Our industry is constantly evolving and changing, and it's really not enough that we just keep the status quo. We've got to kick it into another gear. We need to have these conversations and build the custody of trust.